Hello, everyone. My name is Jinghan Chen, and I'm a rising senior at The Ohio State University studying electrical and computer engineering. This past summer, I got a chance to work in the CERN program at the University of Florida under Dr. Dominic Forte and with the PhD mentor, Sarah. We're working on projects of counterfeit electronic detection. As you can see, the top five types of IC reported in the counterfeit incidents are analog, microprocessor, memory, programmable logic, and transistors. These five categories contributed to $169 billion of semiconductor revenues back in 2011. And counterfeit ICs, they can come in a variety of ways. Just for example, a person can simply desolder the integrated circuit chips off the circuit board and sell it as a brand new chip. Therefore, we need to develop a new way, a way so that we can determine the age of these devices, whether they're on-chip or off-chip measurements to avoid counterfeiting. So one idea proposed by Robin, the PhD student under Dr. Forte, is detection of counterfeit IC through aging of transistors and measurements of PSRR, power supply rejection ratio. As shown in the figure, as devices gets older, PSRR increases. And this type of measurement can even detect devices when they're only used for an hour. However, the downside of this method is that this is an off-chip measurements which require time. And if there are millions of ICs that needs to be verified for counterfeiting, it would take an insane amount of time. So therefore, we propose an idea where we can still detect aging, but on chip instead. As analog LDO ages, its output voltage deviates from the original output value. And this deviation will be amplified through the OTA. The ADC will take this amplified chain deviation and compare it to the unaged OTA analog LDO outputs, and we will use that to determine the age of the chip. And we're currently working on the developing the ADC that will allow us to determine the age of the chips. And finally, I would like to give a shout out to Dr. Forte and Sarah and thank them for their time and thank them for supervising and providing guidance and spending time with me throughout the whole program and providing insights to the knowledge that I never thought of before. I would also like to thank the SOAR program for the amazing research experience and introducing me to the graduate program at the University of Florida. And finally, I would like to thank Mike for organizing weekly seminars to allow us to get familiar with graduate studies, how to conduct research, and how to spend our time wisely in terms of graduate programs. And also for him for planning trips throughout the program. So overall, this SURF program has been an amazing experience. I will use these experiences for my future graduate studies and future careers and forward.